Hey Brad. Okay, uh, so today is sort of unusual in that I have some time, so I'm going to try to bang out some videos before, uh, before I normally would. So I have your 6105 here. Your 6105 8000 from uh, April 1968. It is all original. It is a very nice piece. You bought a really nice watch. Uh, here are the numbers. You can see more or less clean. Um, it's just, you know, the usual thing. It's out of adjustment. Um, it's got some beat air. It's a little noisy, but... I'll have to see it. I mean, but still, 202, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, the only things I see functionally in your watch uh, is the... Um, uh, I can see that the can pinion is a little loose. It's just not it's not gripping that strongly. Would you fire up? There we are. Okay. It's a really nice piece. It's a nice, nice, nice watch. Completely original. It's clean. Very, very, very clean faces. What's cool too is it's April 68. And so as such, it has the correct movement ring, which the old split type where it's a single piece with these sections on here that provide the springy power by by two months later most of these i see are made in april 68 and june 68 that seems to be when they produced the vast majority of them um, but by june 68 they had gone to the standard type movement ring where you had the movement ring with the with the separate spring that was a separate piece but this has the correct early one the early movement ring spring it's always fun to see uh, your lower mainspring arbor port is worn. You can see the ring of brassing around it. So, I mean, I can sit here and poke at it. We can see how much it's moving. If we look at that, poke, poke, poke. But that ring of brassing, that tells us that that's pretty worn. What a really nice piece, though. It's a super duper, 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 duper nice piece. Um, I mean, cosmetically, it's just, it, it, basically, it's impossible to beat. Let's look at that now. <laughs> with the long sweep and the white loom. Yeah, that's hard to beat. It is interesting, by the way, though. Huh. It's an original insert. It's an original rotating ring. See how the pip is slightly misaligned? I saw, I swear I saw a bezel just like that a few months ago from somewhere. These normally, these 6105s, normally the they have uh, the pip here, it has sort of a fisheye lensing effect it, it, because the underside is actually domed. So you get this sort of deepish lensing effect, uh, but I'm not seeing that here. It's definitely an original insert. It's definitely an original rotating ring based on the rest of the condition of the watch. I think it's fine. What a beautiful piece. That long sweep. That's a nice watch. No, it, it needs service. Um, I'm sure it needs a crown rebuild. This probably needs seals. Uh, and it needs a lower mainspring arbor port, but the rest of it I, I think is going to be just fine. Yeah, it's a it's a great watch. I swear though, someone... I wonder if this was for sale recently, just the ring, and someone bought it. I swear someone else wrote me and said, hey, I've got this available. What do you think about this, the, the pit not being centered? And I was like, I remember seeing it. I mean, who knows? Maybe Seiko had more than one. I'm sure they did. Uh, but it's definitely, it's original. It's up to you. Boy, great watch, though.